Hey guys, this is Robert. Thanks for coming to the channel. I'm in front of our LX570, which I have coined LX Family Truck Store. So if you haven't been to this channel before, I had uh, purchased this used. It's a 2013 LX and it had paint protection film on the front of the hood and other areas. And I had to remove it because it was peeling and it was actually making things worse. Went ahead and removed it. I have, uh, I'll link the other videos so you can see the pain that I had to remove it and how I made it easier. The next thing I do, I wash it, put Iron X contamination remover on it, made a huge difference. After that, I decided to clay it. I had two different types of clay, a regular clay bar and a synthetic clay bar. Then I polish it with my polisher right there to get this corrected. I'll be doing ceramic later, but before I do that, I wanna attack these headlights as well. You can see here, uh, when I first bought it, it was actually haze and they polished it. The haze has come back. So now I want to polish this out again. And then I'm going to use a uh, ceramic coating and hopefully it'll be positive and last a while. So we'll be right back. All right, welcome back guys. Appreciate you coming. Again, if you haven't been to the channel, check out the videos. Um, also share it to anybody you know that can find any use for it and like and subscribe. So you can see here it's pretty hazy. Generally you want to tape it off but I'm not concerned about taping this headlight off because uh, I'm going to be treating the rest of the vehicle. There's been videos that use toothpaste um, and other products out there. I like to use a machine because it saves me time and saves my hands. And saves everything. Uh, it does cost more, but if you're going to polish your vehicle, it's good to get a polisher. This is a dual action polisher from Flex, a very top quality product. I've had it for years. I'm using an orange pad here, which is abrasive and not super abrasive that can do damage to your paint or plastic. And I'm going to be using a compound by Menzerna. They changed the name a little bit, but I'll put the link to the description about these kind of products. Um, also, this is just a bottle, but I filled it with uh, alcohol and water, an IPA mix. So, first thing, if you haven't done it, clean this off. Generally, you can tape it and uh, tape the area. But now, uh, I'm just going to go ahead and apply the product and see if I can get this cleared out right now. Okay? I've already washed the vehicle. I've already dried it, so there's no abrasive that I'm rubbing into it. Okay? I sprayed the pad with a little um, IPA to give it some uh, fluidity. And now I'm gonna apply the compound. Not too much, because there's not too much to work with. So here we go. So we're gonna rub it on. Uh, I'm outside, so you generally wanna work in shade because you want the stuff to dry. Uh, fortunately, it's not hot yet. It's actually cool. So the surface is not hot. So if you're working on a hot surface, please don't do that. So I'm gonna run it off about medium speed and see how it goes. a big difference I gotta get this corner a little bit more but um, definitely a lot better this is dry so a lot of times when it's wet it kind of fools you that it looks perfect but this is dry I need to get it right here a little bit more look at that big difference so uh, I'm gonna hit it again right here uh, I might actually do it by hand, but I, I actually like to buff it uh, with the polisher, but I could do it by hand to get this crevice, but I think I'd be able to get that in there. But huge, huge difference. I'm going to get it right here too, but um, definitely a huge difference on that. And now you can't just leave it alone. You have to put a sealant on it. So 
So you could be a wax, some people use clear coat. I'm gonna use a C quartz ceramic. So uh, I'll be applying that in a little bit and you can see the difference after I get this down. So I'm running eraser here to clean the uh, light before we put the ceramic on top. So I'm gonna put a little ceramic here. Sea Quartz UK. Just evenly get it. That corner is harder because it's a corner. Okay, and it's got a flash. And they say you're supposed to see the rainbow or something. I can't see it. I haven't, I've been doing most of the car by now and I can't see it. So I'm just gonna give it just a little bit and then I'm gonna go right at it. Huh? It's pretty slick already, and in about 30 minutes, um, 30 to 40 minutes, I'm gonna run reload here, and it'll help seal it, especially for tonight, because it's gonna be outside. Okay, it's been a few weeks. You can see how clean it still looks. Let's go to the other light. Yep, it's slick still. So if you have any questions or comments, please post below. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon. Thanks for watching guys. Peace out.